Hey, what's up, everybody? Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. Of course, you know they call me Napalm. And of course, you know I hold the, the esteemed and important position of King of Pinch. Now, this video is being made specifically for my boy Randy Gentry, who's having a tough time with all this, all this shit going on that's on the TV. We already talked about this. I'm just going to reiterate. Turn your TV off if you have to. Do not watch the news. It does not matter to you. The information that they are concentrating on on the news does not matter <clears throat> to you. It doesn't matter where this virus is, how much is there, how much is around, when it's coming. None of that matters. All right, you know enough about this virus to go ahead and just shut the TV off and not worry about it anymore, brother. If you're gonna have that TV on, what I wanna do right now is share some of my favorite movies that I like to watch. These are all on my DVR, and I've watched them about 20 times each this year. Now, I don't watch much TV, but I know how to watch a movie. I'm able to get through that stick quick. All right, so here we go. Number one, Roadhouse. Patrick Swayze. Dude rips people's throats out in the movie. It's great, great movie. That's what you should be watching. Watch Patrick Swayze rip a dude's throat out. My guess is that dude that he was fighting with at the time was in the incubation period for Corona for you know what, okay? So he was getting rid of that throat so that the guy did not perpetuate the illness. All right, brother? Now, I'm not telling you to go rip some people's throats out. I'm telling you to watch Roadhouse because that movie is awesome and hopefully you can find it where it's not the edited version, all right? Because I know that you're an adult of at least 18 years old. So... You should go get the real version, not the edited, because it is more entertaining. It's more of a complete movie that way. Next, you can watch the movie Moneyball with Brad Pitt, okay? Because he shows you how to be successful on a limited budget. So, what's cool about that, and it's just coming to me right now, is... There's a bunch of people going out spending a bunch of money on frickin' toilet paper that they don't need, okay? Limit that budget down. Buy what you need. Buy base runners, all right? Buy base runners, brother. Next, another movie that I watch all the time is Groundhog's Day, all right? Groundhog's Day, Bill Murray. Excellent entertainment. They even talk about WrestleMania. All right, now don't go watching the movie and trying to figure out everything wrong with it because there's a lot of stuff that just don't add up. Much like some of the stats that I've seen about this issue that's going on in the United States right now. A lot of that stuff don't add up. But if you sit there and you try to watch the news every day about this stuff and try to put that all together, you're gonna be very confused, very stressed, etc., etc., etc. And you don't want that. It's pointless. So don't watch that stuff. Watch Moneyball. The next movie that I'm going to suggest that's on my DVR that I watch all the time is Hangover. Actually, I have like two or three of the Hangovers on DVR. I'm going to count those as one movie. You might as well. It doesn't matter which one. They're all the same movie. Just watch them. All right. Hangover, Hangover 1, Hangover 2, Hangover 3, the main actor is Bradley Cooper, and then you got Zach Galifianakis, and then there's a couple other dudes, I don't know their names, because I've only ever seen them in The Hangover. Well, that's not true. But, yeah, watch that one. How many movies is that? Is that two or three? I don't remember. So I'll just wrap this up with one more movie. And if you watch this, you're going to have a good time. You don't have to worry about all that crap. I'm going to suggest I'm going to suggest Ghostbusters. You can't go wrong with Ghostbusters. All right? Go watch that. Escape reality a little bit and you'll have a good time. And if you're not going to watch those movies, brother, 
sit down and digest a few episodes of This Week in Grip. I've got a complete podcast list. i got a complete playlist of This Week in Grip. You can watch hours. Probably It's probably almost a year's worth of grip training, highlights, and commentary from yours truly, the King of Pinch, Alan Hynek, and James Rodriguez. And the guy that says I'm no good at thick bar was in there for a while too, but we don't talk about him that much. So it's no problem. We might as well call him CV. All right. All the best in your training, everybody. Mr. Gentry, you got this, brother. Turn off the news. The news, you've seen enough, brother. Make sure to subscribe. If this video was cool, give it a thumbs up. Holy cow. Look at that pretty nice. Later.